and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a cute minion bob keychain. My kids are mad about the minions and it came to my mind that I could use a Kinder Surprise capsule to create the perfect minion. I didn't put anything inside the capsule and this way the keychain became very light. But if you prefer, instead of a capsule, you can use some stuffing. In both cases, you're gonna have a cute minion keychain. I've used super fine yarn, 100% cotton, of the brand Alice Bella, in yellow, blue, grey, white and black, and also 2 mm crochet hook. Also, you will need some felt for the eyes and two small black buttons. Let's see the rest of the materials and let's get started. First, we are going to crochet the head and the body. They are crocheted as one piece. Use yellow color yarn. As I already mentioned it, I am using the brand Alize Bella. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the second round, crochet an increase in each and one of the previous six single crochet. Use a darning needle and hide the initial tail. For round 3, make one single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one make an increase, one single crochet then make an increase, repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, crochet, single crochet in the first 2 stitches, then make an increase, repeat to single crochet, then make an increase, repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. For round 5, crochet, single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 30 stitches. When 
when I finish crocheting around five, I will check if the crochet part covers well the capsule. It's okay. So from now on, we won't make more increases from round six to round 19. We will crochet a single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. going to use a plastic capsule this is the moment to put the capsule inside the crochet body otherwise you have to start stuffing the head and the body around 19 we have to start decreasing I have to confess that making decreases with the capsule inside the body is a little bit difficult but just be patient crochet single crochet in the first two stitches then you have to make a decrease and repeat again the same steps to single crochet and next you have to make a decrease repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches in total now crochet one round without any decreases make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round Around 23. Crochet one single crochet in the first stitch. Then you have to make a decrease and repeat one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 12 stitches in total.
For the last round, number 24, you have to make only one decreases, then make a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. a darning needle and close the rest of the stitches. crochet the overalls. This time we are going to use blue cower yarn. Start repeating the same steps you did for the head and for the body from round 1 to round 5. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the second round make an increase in each one of these 6 single crochet. For round 3 crochet single crochet in the first stitch then in the next one make an increase repeat one single crochet then make an increase in the next one repeat this till the end of the round now for round four continue increasing crochet single crochet in the first two stitches then in the next one make an increase repeat two single crochet then make an increase Repeat this till the end of the round and for round 5 crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches then make an increase in the next one. Repeat 3 single crochet then make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat till the end of the round. For the head and for the body we stop making increases at this point. but. When making the overalls we need to make another round with increases so the head and the body can fit into them. So for round 6 crochet single crochet in the first 4 stitches then make an increase and repeat 4 single crochet 1 increase. Repeat these steps till the end of the round. Now crochet 2 rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finally we are going to crochet around 9 and while we are crocheting round 9 we are also going to make the front and the back parts of the overalls. Start crocheting single crochet in the first 9 stitches. Next we are going to crochet the front part of the overalls. So make single crochet in the next 9 stitches of round 9. Then chain 1 and turn. 
crochet single crochet in the next nine stitches and again chain one and turn crochet another nine single crochet After you finish the row make two or three single crochet till you reach again round nine then crochet a single crochet in next nine stitches. And now we are going to crochet the back part of the overalls. So make single crochet in the next nine stitches, chain one and turn. Crochet single crochet in the next nine stitches and again chain one and turn and make single crochet in the next nine stitches. <music> When you finish the row make two or more single crochet till you reach again round nine then make a slip stitch in the last stitch of round nine and fasten off then use a darning needle to hide the tails now let's crochet the suspenders Choose which one of the parts will be your back part of the overalls and attach new blue cover yarn in the last stitch. Chain 17 stitches, then make a single crochet in the second chain stitch away from the hook. Continue crocheting single crochet till the end of the chain. Finally, make a slip stitch 
next to the stitch where you've attached the blue yarn and then fasten off. Now attach another blue yarn tail on the next to the last stitch on the other end of the back part then chain 17 chain stitches then make a single crochet in the second chain stitch away from the hook and continue crocheting single crochet to the end of the chain. Make a slip stitch in the last stitch next to the stitch where you've attached the blue yarn then using a darning needle hide the yarn tail. Finally we are going to crochet a small pocket to complete the look of our overalls. Use blue color yarn. We will crochet in rows and not rounds. Chain 5 stitches. Then crochet a single crochet in the second stitch away from the hook. Continue crocheting single crochet till the end of the chain. Then chain 1 and turn. For the second row, make an increase in the first stitch, then crochet a single crochet in the next two stitches and finish with another increase in the last stitch. Again chain one and turn. For the third row, make single crochet in each stitch of the previous row. To finish the pocket, make another single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Then continue crocheting single crochet all over the pocket. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. time to crochet the arms. This time we are going to use black and yellow cower yarn. Start with the black cower. As the black cower is really difficult to see for the tutorial I am going to use blue cower yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. <music> Thank you. 
for round two crochet single crochet in the first stitch then make an increase repeat one single crochet then make an increase at the end you will have nine stitches now crochet two rounds with single crochet in each stitch of the previous round stuff a little bit the arm then make one single crochet in the first stitch then make a decrease and repeat one single crochet next make a decrease repeat this till the end of the round until you have six stitches <music> Our yarn and from round 6 to round 10 make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Next step is to crochet the shoes. We are going to use only black cower yarn. As the black cower is difficult to see, again I'm going to use blue cower yarn for the tutorial so you can see better the stitches. Repeat the same steps you did for the head and for the body from round 1 to round 3. Then for round 4 crochet a single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 5, crochet, single crochet in the first 3 stitches and then make 6 decreases one after another and then finish with single crochet in the last 3 stitches. You have 12 stitches in total and then for our last round number 6, crochet, single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Then make a slip stitch and leave a long end for sewing and then stuff a little bit the shoes. Crochet the eyes and the googles. Use white and grey cower yarn. Start with the white cower yarn. Make a magic ring and crochet six single crochet into it. Finish with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet.
for the second round, chain one, then crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. Again finish with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. Before I finish the last single crochet with white, I'm going to attach the gray cover yarn. Then chain one and working in the front loops only, crochet one single crochet in the first stitch, then an increase in the next one and repeat one single crochet, then an increase in the next stitch. Finish with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. For our last round number 4, chain 1, then crochet a single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet and leave a long tail for sewing. complete the eyes I will use felt in green, brown and black. Cut two circles in brown and uh, one in brown and one in green 7 millimeters in diameter. Then cut two circles, smaller circles in black 5 millimeters in diameter. Sew the black circles to the brown and to the green one. Then sew the brown and green felt eyes to the white part of the eyes. Now we can start assembling the pieces of our minion. First let's use two small black buttons on both suspenders of the overalls. Use black thread and sewing needle. Next step is to sew the small pocket in the upper front part of the overalls. Now dress the minion's body with the overalls, then sew the arms below the suspenders. The arms should be positioned symmetrically. Continue sewing the shoes, position them on bottom of the body and the overalls. 
black cower yarn and chain 24 stitches this will be the strap for the goggles leave long initial and final tail so you can sew it to the head finally use thinner black yarn and embroider a smile below the eyes have to add a small chain and our minion keychain is ready. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. See you soon.